Hey guys, hope you're all well. Hope you're having a good end of year. Uh, this is a video that is a little bit weird for me to make and one that's come around a lot quicker and a lot sooner than I thought it would and one which I want to keep, you know, relatively short. Uh, but yeah, this is the last video of mine that you will see in this room. As many if not all of you know, I've been filming the vast majority of Naughty Step videos for almost six years now, which is also pretty mad to think, in this very room. So yeah, just completely steeped in Naughty Step lore and history and all of that. And I've really enjoyed making videos in this room, but also, as many of you know, I'm gonna be moving soon within the UK to Manchester in the more Midland kind of area within the UK. And of course, with that comes a change in filming environment. And on that note, I did just want to touch briefly on my relative lack of uploading for the last kind of maybe year and a half or so, which I haven't enjoyed at all. I mean, you guys will have noticed it. I loved uploading. I loved putting videos up on YouTube. I still do. Putting out multiple videos a week, I was getting in a real groove with it that first few years or so. It was my lifeblood. I, I really, really enjoyed it. But I have to be honest, I almost completely fell out of love with the setting that I was filming the videos in, i.e. this room. Once I had to take down all the Skrillex posters and everything that was here, we had a load of people viewing the house, obviously, because we were selling it. And with that came having to take down everything on the walls, including the posters, of course, as I said. So yeah, every time I look back, I just felt a bit demotivated seeing this dead space and blank space. And that really kind of sucked the enjoyment out of it for me, just knowing there wasn't that much going on behind and kind of making it entertaining in that way as a video. So that made creating just not that much fun for quite a long time. And that actually coincided with something that is a little bit of an ongoing thing for me and which I'd actually like your thoughts on, your guys' opinions. So please do leave them in the comment section down below. But Basically, I've been finding it harder and harder to carve out time to make videos simply because there is so much music to get through every single week. I go through about 350 to 400 different labels and collectives on SoundCloud every single week. And then beyond that, you've got self-releases like singles and remixes. You've got people that I follow on streaming services as well and the stuff you might miss out on SoundCloud through that. You've got other media posts like websites and blogs and all that kind of thing. And that genuinely is just scratching the surface. Like there's so much more to find, labels, artists, collectives, whatever. So my mindset is always that more can be found and that if I'm not doing that, I'm not doing enough. And that basically what I'm doing now is just essentially the bare minimum. So I end up spending about two and a half to three days every single week just checking out and getting through the music. Hence why the best of bass playlists haven't been coming out on a Monday this year or for the last year and have been coming out on a Wednesday or a Thursday because there's just so fucking much to get through. But then at the same time, I wanna have as comprehensive an overview and kind of general knowledge of bass music as it is right now across all the different genres. So yeah, just a little thing that I'm kind of experiencing and which I would love your thoughts on. So again, yeah, your guidance, your advice, just anything about that, uh, please do drop your thoughts down below. I mean, I'm kind of curious as to how Fantano does it, but he has an editor or two, so that's probably how he does it. All of that being said, really excited to be in a new environment, in a new working space as well, of course, and just, cracking on with making content for all of you and covering bass music in the right way again with regular uploads on the channel, a revamped Patreon and also a new thing that I'm going to be undertaking which I'm very excited to kind of present to all of you and do and crack on with once I have properly settled into my new place and I'm feeling pretty much ready and good to go. The yearly favourites videos are going to be taking place and be on this channel in a couple of weeks, hopefully mid-January kind of time. But importantly, where they're filmed is not gonna be my new place, it is gonna be my family's new place. So I'm gonna be there for a little bit before I head off to Manchester. And so basically what I'm saying is that, yeah, please do enjoy those videos all you want. They are gonna be good. I'm looking forward to putting them together. But don't get too used to it is basically what I'm saying because that space will only be for those videos. So yeah, there's just a little update on my situation and a look forward to the future for yours truly and for the channel. I suppose all that's left to say in this video 
is a little farewell to this room that you guys will not see on this channel in future videos. Uh, what am I doing? I should probably just probably just give you guys a last little tour. How about that? Let's go for a last little tour. Hey guys, I'm currently sat in the kitchen of the new family home in Edinburgh. Unfortunately, a lot of the room tour footage, the sound got a little bit malfunctioned, a little bit fuzzy, so couldn't use it. So just gonna leave a little bit of overlaying footage here whilst I say, yeah, I will see you for the yearly favourites videos, which like I said, will be coming out mid to late January kind of time, so a couple of weeks from now. And until then, keep it naughty and have a fantastic end to 2023. 2024, here we come. Really looking forward to what's coming on the channel and I will see you then. Peace.